Toastmaster, ladies and gentlemen. What if I was to uh, suddenly just turn around and walk out of this room, say over my shoulder to you, I don't want to do this. What emotion do you think you might feel? Anger? Probably. Why would you feel anger? Seems almost self-evident, doesn't it? But since this is a topic on emotions, let's go a little deeper. Let's identify the facts. I already stated some of them. I'm speaking before you. You're sitting here uh, listening to me. We're both, we're all with Toastmasters. And I started to speak, and I turned around and walked out. Those are the facts. Now, do those facts by themselves lead to any kind of emotion? Do facts? No. Facts by themselves don't lead to emotions. What's required is an evaluation of the facts according to a values. Now, we all share certain values. We want to improve ourselves, make ourselves better people through learning how to speak. By my cavalierly uh, ignoring this, this value and kind of putting it down, you would, have a, you would conclude that I was doing an injustice to you. And once you make that conclusion, then you would automatically feel the emotion. Now, to uh, show you or to demonstrate that, that this view has validity, uh, let's change the uh, topic a little bit, or let's change the parameters. Let's, uh, let's change the identification. Let's say I came back in apologetic. I said, oh, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. I just got a phone call from a great friend of mine. He's sick, and, uh, and I, just, I was just overwrought, and I had to walk out, so I didn't do it on purpose. Please uh, forgive me. So the facts change, right? And uh, so consequently, your evaluation would change. You wouldn't think that there was an injustice done anymore. You would uh, probably conclude, you know, you would probably feel sympathy for me. The emotion would be sympathy. So the different facts lead to different evaluations. Now let's change the evaluation. Let's say that there's a person in the back of the room, and he doesn't know anything about Toastmasters. He doesn't care. He's there because uh, he has to be, and he sees the same set of facts. He sees me walking out the room, and uh, what conclusion will he make? Well, since he doesn't share Toastmaster values, he would not make any conclusion. He would basically be indifferent. So same set of facts, different evaluation, leading to different emotion or no emotion. So now I also like to contrast this view with the uh, two other very popular uh, views uh, on emotions. One view is that emotions are caused are uh, simply physical responses. The other view is uh, the, the view that emotions are dependent on the society that you live in. Different societies have different emotions. Uh, no, notice what's similar about these two views. They're both ignore the mind, right? They both ignore the individual identification and evaluation. Now, emotions seem mysterious, uh, and they're misunderstood, and I think there's a very good reason for that. The reason is due to subconscious organization. Uh, if you think back to the example that, we, that I gave you, uh, of me walking out, I went through this long couple of minutes speech about identification and evaluation leading to an emotion. But in reality, you're sitting there looking at the set of facts, you're not thinking that. You're thinking, you're just seeing, you're perceiving the, the actions, and almost immediately, you'll come up with a conclusion uh, without much thought. And now why is this? Because in order to identify and evaluate an object or an event, even a simple one like that, enormous amount of knowledge. And this knowledge, if you try to hold it in your conscious mind during every uh, scenario, during every event, you would never get to the emotion. I mean, think back on learning how to spell, for example. That's, that's a, 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 a knowledge that you learned and you automatize it in your subconscious. So uh, your subconscious takes over. So what happens is that 
theory of that, it goes into your conscious mind, the earlier thought goes straight into your subconscious. These are uh, based on similar experiences that you automatized in the past, and you feel the emotions. So this is why some people, when they walk, they may experience emotions that they don't understand, for example. They may be walking down the street and suddenly feel anxiety, and they don't know why. You know, I'm sure that's happened to, to all of you. And you have to think about why you're feeling that way. And the reason is because of subconscious organization. So, in conclusion, I would like to say I'm not a psychologist, but you all have before you your own emotions which you can introspect and see for yourself. And next time you, <laughs> next time you feel an emotion that you don't understand, uh, just uh, take some time to work at it and uh, identify the facts and the evaluations that led up to the emotions. If you do this, you'll understand yourself a lot better and you'll learn to correct thinking errors that can lead to inappropriate emotions and actions. Thank you.